Welcome to the Rinks Around the League. On this episode, we're heading to Buffalo, New York to visit the Key Bank Center. Let's go. Hey there and welcome to Rinks Around the League. I'm your host, Jeff Nash, and if you haven't already, check out the intro video here to get some background on the series. On this episode, we're heading to the KeyBank Center in Buffalo, New York, home of the Buffalo Sabres of the NHL. Construction of the KeyBank Center started back on November 4th, 1994, and opened on September 21st, 1996, at a cost between $122 and $127 million. $67 million was provided by private funds. The state of New York invested $20 million. Erie County provided an additional $20 million, and the city of Buffalo invested $10 million. Due to team financial problems, Erie County agreed to transfer some of its revenue stream to the team, and the state State forgave the arena construction costs to the team owners. KeyBank Center is owned by Erie County. The naming rights terms were not disclosed, but the current naming rights deal is said to expire in 2026. NHL seating capacity is 19,070, and the average secondary ticket market price ranks them 23rd in the league at $107. Its current scoreboard measures 22 by 12.6 feet. Speaking of scoreboards, two months after its official opening in 1996. Staff were lowering the scoreboard for daily maintenance after the team's morning skates when a cable broke, sending the 2010 $4 million scoreboard crashing to the ice surface. Safety protocol restricts anyone from being underneath the scoreboard while it's being raised or lowered, so fortunately, no one was injured. As a result, the game between the Buffalo Sabres and the Boston Bruins had to be postponed due to damage to the ice surface. Two temporary LED boards were posted on either end of the rink at the 100 level, and it took nearly five months for the new scoreboard to be installed. Now, the Key Bank Center was built essentially right across the street from the beloved auditorium in Buffalo. And attached to the Key Bank Center is the Harbor Center, which houses a practice facility, a full-size gym, training facilities, and a hotel. Now, first off, things I like about the Key Bank Center is its size. The dome shape makes it feel massive inside. It's huge. One of the other things I love about the Key Bank Center is its horn. I think it has one of the most iconic goal horns in the league. Another cool iconic feature of the rink are these two massive sabers or swords that the team skates out from underneath. It's pretty impressive. It's because of this massive dome shape, it tucks all the things up inside it. So when you're in the building, even from the upper nosebleeds, you still have a pretty clear sight line to the ice surface below. I like touches they added by the locker room. They have this stone from the Memorial Auditorium that has the names of all the players who played on the team from 1970 to 1996, along with a nice display of retired numbers by the hallway near the locker room. Across from that, they also have this neat word art photo montage of famous players and coaches. That kind of monotone logo branding is throughout the building, which I love. Here's some signage in an elevator lobby for an example. Key Bank Center also has a lot of team store locations. Its main team store is a massive store on the main level, just outside of the rink. So again, it's a team store that you don't even have to go to the game to go purchase some merch. And here's something interesting, they also have a rack in the main store where you can buy opposing team's jersey, which I think is a smart because if you're a fan of the opposing team watching a game in Buffalo, and let's say you forgot your jersey and you're really die hard and you want to wear one, buy one at the team store. And from the Buffalo Sabres standpoint, they just made another jersey sale. They don't care, it's money in their pocket. Now, what don't I like about the rink? Well, I've read a little bit of a backlash last year on social media regarding some rusted seats and the lack of hot water in the uh, upper concourse washrooms. But overall, Key Bank Center has a lot going for it. I mean, its location and the outside facade is nothing really to write home about. But once you're inside, I think you're in good hands. And again, some major upgrades to the main concourse and the seating and whatever the hot water issue was on the upper concourse, I think you're gonna be in good shape for years to come. I guess this comes down to my biggest complaint about Key Bank Center, and it has nothing to do with the rink itself. Where are the people? Every time I go to that rink, it is, I wouldn't even say half full. Where are the fans in Buffalo? I remember the World Junior Championships, which is a hot ticket in Canada, almost a guaranteed sellout, was empty in Buffalo. 
But I guess the good news is they've made some major moves on the offseason and they're attracting some major talent. So hopefully they can ice a good product to attract those rowdy, raucous Buffalo fans. I think KeyBank Center ranks on the top half of the ranks around the league. It's in need of some repair, but it's still a pretty nice place to go watch a hockey game. And because it's rated so low in the league in terms of ticket prices, it's an affordable way to go see a game. Despite the groans of local fans, KeyBank Center actually has a lot going for it. It actually has a lot of graphic design details that most rinks don't even have. And yes, despite in need of some major renovations, hopefully the future upside of this franchise will bring in some much needed revenue to support those renovations to come. As always, I want this to be a discussion. So fans out there in Buffalo, tell me what you think. What do you think of the Key Bank Center? As always, if you feel like following or supporting me, follow along on Twitter and Instagram at underscore the rinks on Facebook at The Rinks, and on YouTube at Rinks Around the League. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified of future episodes. That about does it for Buffalo. Now let's head up to Canada for our first Canadian stop in Calgary at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome, home of the Calgary Flames. Yeah, if you ever go to Buffalo, like their wings are out of this world. You go to somewhere like Duff's, now, go buffalo wings. I don't know what kind of chickens they grow in Buffalo, but they're massive. They're like twice the size of these wings here. Yeah, they're good.